Hello, and welcome back to Outings with the Delver. Uh, so I was trying to consider, assuming I'm doing two weapons per episode, which uh, order I wanted to do things in. And I thought Sword and Staff would kind of make sense, and so I just did opposites. But I also thought that might be a little bit too obvious. So I'm going to do Sword and ca uh, Staff and Caber today. Staff and Big Staff. I think that's reasonable. Uh, did I need to hit this? Yes. There we go. And we get a staff and we're forced to use it. Was that the same in all of these? We were... yeah, we have a weapon and we're forced to use it. Same sort of entrance way. Mechanism on each... Uh, on each room? That's good. Establishing a pattern. Oh, we're probably doing multi-pushes, based on the fact that there is a mimic. And I guess this is for the spider. The spider who is brained. So first task is to get the spider out, maybe? Hmm. What happens when I do this? Bad things happen. Well, or good things, depending on your perspective. Uh, who can get in here? Do either of these ever... Well, that doesn't doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it does. I can get the golem out that way. You're not on anything. Oh. Okay. So that lets me release the golem. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, Mim pretty sure Mimic goes here. That releases the golem. Who then probably dies. Although, actually, I... This is going to take eight turns to grow, or nine turns to grow. Yeah, so I could get the golem out if I wanted to, which means I have a resource, so I probably want to. Hmm. Uh, one thing to consider, I don't actually have any way of killing things. I guess that's what the hot tiles are for, um, but I can't kill things on my own, I mean. I guess the briar eventually kills things. Uh, if the briar grows, it'll grow out to here pretty quickly, which will give me access to this. At least until I kill the construct. Uh, looks like Mimic ends here and Construct and Bethrow end up here, if I had to guess. Just because killing it... Well, I mean, we could... Again, briar could get there, but... I don't know, dancing back and forth on these hot tiles forever is briar expands throughout the entire room doesn't work because I can't get out. Hmm. Okay, well that's just a double push. And yeah, one-way double push. Okay, that's easy. Alright, I think I've analyzed the whole room and oh, there's a secret. Okay. Well, we'll see how much of a wrench that throws in our plans here. Okay, as long as I do this, I can get two for every one. I wasn't sure how this was going to work out, but this was uh, easier than anticipated. Okay, we've gotten the spider out. Next question, do I actually do anything with the spider? Uh, when I analyzed the room, I did not see a use for the spider. So I think the spider just dies. Uh, is there a reason to keep the brain alive? I could have just killed the brain, and then the spider would have come out. Uh, brains do float, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So brain is the thing that we get on the... Uh, brain could get here. Of course, this assumes I'm able to push the brain out. Regardless, I can't actually kill the brain yet. Hmm. Does the Mimic care about shallow water? I think it does. Yep. Okay. Yeah, so if I do that, I don't... Okay, well what if I... Uh, 
Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. No, I don't even get to push the brain that way. Okay, maybe I didn't even want to move the brain then. I just assumed I'd be able to. Well... Or maybe we just do the rest of the room under a timer. Oh. Okay, brain. Back, here you go. That's a problem. Hmm. Well, what would be better then? is to have that happen. Now, do I want this golem out? I don't think I do. So we'll just kill the brain. Uh, oh, there's a hot tile here. Wait a minute. Okay, that's a problem. And the problem is how do we ever actually kill the brain? I guess what we do is we build a bridge using the golem and the construct. Okay, well, getting, uh... Actually, that's, uh, that's in an okay place. Hmm, whoops, I wanted... One closer. Okay. Let's just get the golem out the easy way. Now, I was going to assume I don't need you alive, but No, no, we're going to kill you. And we're going to see... Yeah, it's possible to get the brain out now. Okay. You get out of the way. Okay, we got the brain. And that means we do not need we don't need the construct for anything I'm pretty sure um, after we've dropped the trapdoors I mean okay and I think we're actually in a decent position here Yep. There we go. And I guess we're just going to wait until... Ah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, in hindsight, 
Let's just use you to make this easier. And by easier, I think I mean possible. Alright, that's the staff room done. Suddenly I have a suspicion. Well, let's look at this room before... Okay, never mind. This is every weapon. I was worried it was just going to be... This was the staff pickaxe room or something. But no, this is every weapon. And I get... Choices. I can disarm myself. Immediately I see that I can disarm and rearm. However... I guess that lets me decide if I am armed or disarmed coming in here. Hmm. So I come in disarmed, choose a weapon. These are all on trapdoors. Of course, dagger on trapdoor doesn't mean much, and disarmed doesn't matter at all anyway. Oh. Oh no. So really what I'm doing here, let's just confirm... with that. If I come in like that, as long as I don't have a dagger... Uh, it's good that I did this, because I had it backwards in my mind. Yeah, I come in here, I then get to do this. I guess I can... Well... I was going to say, I can choose to do that with the dagger if I want to. But I can also just choose not to take a weapon. Okay, but what's actually going on here is I have to decide the order I get the weapons in to complete the room. So I get to shuffle the weapons around. And then from left to right, decide what I'm doing with each one. So, this looks like a good place for a dagger. So start analyzing. Analyzing all the things. Because I step here... What's your turn order? Hmm. I step here. You move here, you move here, you move here. From here... Well, I can just step back. And with literally any weapon... I can... Uh, any weapon except staff, I guess. I can probably use the ortho square to kill this. So this does not actually require a dagger. Hit that. Uh, there's no tar mother in here, right? No, okay. What's the timer from? Snake? Okay. Answering my own questions. Alright, so we go in here. Presumably with a spear. So we hit this, we're locked in, and then we have to hit both of those to get out. Uh, is there a tar stuff gate somewhere? No, but this lets me get a third baby. So this mechanism allows me to have spear transform into... So spear equals extra enemy. This is obviously Spear, because I have no other ability to do anything with this. There's no powder keg. Yes, there is. There is, however... The only thing I'm doing with this powder keg is blowing it up to destroy the mirror. Which I think Omplik can actually see through lights. It's a difference between lights and obstacles. So I think it's going to be able to stun itself. In fact, it's going to have to be able to, because otherwise we're never letting this fuse. 
But yeah, so there's a random obscure draw trivia for you. Lights and obstacles are not the same thing. They interact differently with uh, elements of the environment and monsters and stuff. Right, so Spear goes in here, gets me one extra baby. If I want one, um, do I want one? Probably. Maybe for that. That seems like a good spot to put a tar baby. That lets me open this, which lets me release the omplet. If I release the omplet, well, if my sword is facing this way, it's not quite going to work. But if I'm over one more, like I step here with a pickaxe, or step down like this with a pickaxe, uh, you're going to hit this, though. Uh, this is going to be tricky. It's it's impossible for me. Well, not impossible, but it's difficult for me to predict, and I'm, I'm just going to do it via trial and error. Sword or pickaxe to reflect, stun this on flick so it doesn't kill itself, and then I can get over here and hopefully break its beam when it turns. Well, I, I just need to turn that way once, right? So if I stun it here and step this way, It'll be unstunned, and then I step here, and it'll just turn. Okay. So yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay, what does this do? Uh, caber or staff. Caber or staff lets me... Or spear. Man, spear might be doing some heavy work here. Uh, lets me push the golem onto this pressure plate, which opens these and does something with funky with this. Now, there's no other enemy that can go here, because this will kill whatever gets in here. Uh, except for Fagundo, I think. We learned that in roll, in the roll one, a roll play. Fagundo can survive fire trap, but anything else will die, it's just that with the golem I can push the corpse onto here. Which turns this off. Which means that I need the pickaxe to destroy it once it's safe to do so. And yeah, it won't reactivate. Alright, so we need the pickaxe once we've got the golem here. Uh, everybody keeping notes? Are you keeping track of all the different things we need different weapons for? So I think I can do this with spear. Uh, I think I can do this with Spear, and then get through. So, the problem is... Well, I can do all... I can't do this with Pickaxe. Okay, I need Spear after, so as an order, ordering problem, let's say the very first thing I want to do is get the Golem here. That's the thing I can do, provided I can stab. Alright, I don't think I need, like I said, I don't think I need dagger for this. I think I can do it with spear. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the dagger as the first weapon. We're using the dagger to break this wall, and then we're done with the dagger. Then, we use the staff to push the golem onto this. We then use pickaxe to destroy the golem. We then use Spear to deal with all this, get out, and deal with this. Okay. We then... Okay, we start with a sword by default. Put a sword here to deal with the Omplek the way I was talking about it. And then Kaber to destroy the mirror so that the Omplek will step here, set this off, killing the snake. And I think that's the order. So if I have analyzed the entire room correctly... Uh, well, I did overlook one fact. Uh, I don't need the dagger, because I have a sword right now. I can just do that. Oh well. So I don't think I actually used the dagger for anything. Oh. 
Let's go with the plan and see where things fall apart. And that, what I just did there with the pushing, I could have used the caber for that, but I, ha I knew I had another use for the caber later. All right. Uh, let's wait a turn. Okay. Uh, I could take one of those. I'm just assuming that this is possible with the um, with the spear. This is the the one part of this that I haven't tested. Uh, but it did just occur to me I could actually get an eye out of here, which with a spear. Yeah, I could actually. You know what? Let's do that. Hmm, it's a little bit awkward. We got around you. Which is useful. Because we want that. And that means... We actually don't need to keep one of these alive. Because doing that with... Uh, three tar babies was going to be tricky. Alright, so if I'm facing this way, you stun yourself, you stun yourself. Okay, sword stun. Get the caber. Kill that. Uh, oh. Okay. Do it that way. And I need to drop all the trapdoors. Okay. So redo the entire room, but I mean this was this was easy enough. There were once I had once I had figured out what I wanted to do. This was easy. So I said I didn't need the dagger for anything. Let's just dump the dagger. So the dagger is just a trap, I guess. It's a little bit disappointing. I would have liked the dagger to have more of a purpose in the room than that. Yeah, each individual task here is super quick. Once you know what you're doing. Spear definitely does the heavy lifting, which is kind of cool. I think it makes up for, um, for this room somewhat. Because this room, thinking about it, this was a spear as handicap room. I don't know if anything I did here was actually benefited by the fact that I had a spear. Um, I guess pushing the constructs across the Ormites. Okay. And maybe it makes powder kegs a little bit easier. Hmm. But this room definitely, uh, to finish that thought, this room definitely makes the spear feel more like a good weapon. So you're doing all kinds of stuff with it. Is there... That's just floor. Oh, was that supposed to be the puzzle? Is that what I broke? The dagger has to go here. Hmm. I mean, I'm not using the dagger, so I don't think it makes a difference. But I'm guessing that's what the puzzle was supposed to be here. Oh well. Okay. Then we get the caber. And we can get out. 
Well, as far as a um, shuffle the weapon tokens room, this was pretty good. Uh, I liked that each individual weapon was pretty simple once you figured out the order you wanted to do things in, but having all of the weapons like just freely as a choice, it's up to you what order you want them in. That was really cool. I really like this uh, this mechanism. It'd be cool to see more rooms uh, built in this style. Maybe not necessarily with every single weapon token, although it could be. Uh, but you could also do variations with having multiple of the same weapon token, so you have to decide which two points in the room do you want the spear. There's a lot of a lot of uh, potential puzzle space there. I can just uh, hit an orb at this point. No. Hmm. How do I get back? Do all of these? Can I just do this? There we go. Okay. Figured it out. So what did I say? Staff and big staff. All right, big staff against guard. Hmm. Oh, we can do that. Uh, I don't think we're killing the guard afterwards, though. Just looking at the elements in this room. It amused me to do that, but it was not useful. Uh, water skipper nest. Oh, caber plus water skipper combat. I see. That's uh, everybody's favorite combination of things. Uh, what's going on with the rest of this room? We have bombs. We have these pressure plates, I guess, correspond to the doors in the center. Okay. And what do I need each thing for? I need the guard to release the briar. I can't move the water skipper until after the briar. I guess the briar grows here. That's the briar's purpose. At which point I can then remove the water skipper nest from here to torch the root. So it's not a briar flood solution. And in fact, if I wanted to try a briar flood solution, the hot tiles here would prevent me. Okay, so that solves this one. Uh, guard stabs the wall. Looking at this room, is there anything else I could possibly use the guard for? I mean, helping me with combat, I guess. Ooh, that's a bit suspicious. Hmm. It's a tunnel. I have to go through the tunnel. Nobody else can go through the tunnel. Uh, that's land, right? Yes. It's half land, half water tiles. Okay, I think I see. What's happening here is we push the nest here. I, I was initially thinking, oh, I'll just have the briar grow all the way up into here. Which, I mean, I probably could do. I could flood the entire half of the room with briar before dealing with this. And that might even be easier. It's also going to be way slower. But I think we'll do what's intended. We'll be, we'll be good. And put the nest here so that a water skipper spawns here. We get a water skipper on the pressure plate and then push the nest off so we don't have a whole bunch of babies in here. And then we're fine. Okay, so water skipper's use water skipper nest is being used for multiple things. I like that. This blows up the bomb. That's the only thing it does. Okay, and it hits everything in this area. So that tells me. Well, we knew the Roach Queen was going to be used for something. Uh, Roach Queen goes here, lays an egg. At which point she's dead. There are other roaches here. That doesn't really matter. Uh, so Roach Queen dies after laying an egg on that on her designated spot. This, you're on an arrow. You are okay. Five, four. Okay, I thought that would be the case. Yeah. So Roach moves first, which means that this Roach Queen lays the egg after the roaches move. So the Roach doesn't immediately rescue her. Roach then runs here, and then here, and dies. Probably, it doesn't matter. The purpose of this is so that the queen 
Uh, basically, we only get one roach in here. Okay, so this roach exists to prevent a roach queen flood solution for this part of the room. Which is pretty funny. Uh, okay. And then there's an arrow here as well. Just to make extra double sure that we don't spawn a second egg in here. Okay, um, how do I get... Oh, um, I can go on these arrows. Right, I just move the roach down onto this arrow, and then I move over here and get the roach onto this. Okay, that's that's easy. And then this is obviously just get the powder keg here and blow it up. Okay, so guard. We did all of that so that we could decide exactly how long we let this guard live, because I want to kill this guard as quickly as possible, because he's going to be annoying. So guard, come with me. Hmm. This is a problem. I'm taking way too long with this. Okay, change of plan. The Roach Queen is a way bigger threat, because with the Caber... Well, it's the Caber and the Guard together that are scary. And Water Skippers are just going to keep building up. There's not much I can do about that. So we ignore the middle of the room as much as possible, and we try to get the Queen here. Which is easily done as long as I'm able to push, so all I really have to do is dodge the guard for a bit. Come on, roaches. Ah, there we go. I can't get around this guard anymore. Alright, guard. You're being annoying. There we go. Uh, nope, that's also not going to work because I need more distance. Okay, maybe I didn't want you down all the way over there. Man, sure would be nice if I could just kill this guard. Well, if I want you facing this way... Hmm... Ah... I guess I've decided to do this guard first, after all. should. Am I dead if I stand here? Okay, let's just run. Uh, well, I didn't get the keg out. That's a problem. Lots of problems in this room, okay. There we go. Dealt with that problem. Let's just get this out of the way. I guess we have to go down. Ah! 
There we go, that'll do it. Okay. It's fine. Queen can do whatever. That's enough of that. Push you over there. Do I need any of you for anything? I don't think so, and if I do, I can always spawn more of you later. Might as well just do that. I don't think there's any reason not to do it right away. And then... rush for this, but I think we're just going to kill those first. It's going to make life a lot easier. Um, there we go. That's a complication. How do I get you off of there? Like the arrow. I gotta see this crush it. Yeah. This. Effectively makes no difference. Hmm. Do I need the guard still? Put the guard's sword over this? Mm. It's the only thing I can think of. How would that work, though? Well, no, because if I move here, it's already there. Even if I did that, well, no, because I do this. Then because it's a... Ortho square, I actually can't get down. makes me a little bit sad because the solution I'm seeing, well, if I do a Briar Flood for this all the way over to here, I think the entire room is just full at that point, so maybe Briar Flood doesn't quite work. Also this uh, kind of prevents that. Hmm. Are there any resources left in this room that I haven't considered? I am pretty sure it's impossible to get a second enemy here. Like we get the one roach and that's it. Which means I have to push it as an egg and then move down faster. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the... Well, 
Well. Not fast enough, and also too many roaches. Which I could use the powder keg to help with this part. Still too slow. So what's the problem here? The problem is... Well, the problem is I'm stabbing her. I don't think I need to. Yeah, I can just go. Okay, there we go. Oh, good thing I figured that out. All right, I'm glad that there was no guard involvement because that would have been awful. Yeah, that was easy. Oh, good thing I found a solution before trying to reset and doing something really hard. All right, and that is it for the caber room. Looks like we have two more, so probably, unless something goes horrendously wrong with one of them, we'll be doing Sword and Dagger next time. I will see you then.